Coach Garcia here. Uh, Merry Christmas. Um, going to be talking today about uh, stage four living. Uh, many of you see my insiders call that I do once a month uh, regarding uh, how to get to stage four. And uh, this video is going to be a little bit about that as well. Got a couple shortcuts I was going to try to give you guys. Um, I think a lot of people get stuck between stage two and three and they don't know where to go or, or how to use their funds to best suit them. So I was going to focus a little bit there today. Um, number one key is the vision. If you don't have a strong vision, you've got to get your vision in line. Um, work with your coach, spend some time on this. It's hard, uh, but it's well worth it because if you have a strong vision going into it, coming out of the backside, it's going to make it so much easier, uh, especially uh, once you get into stage three and four. <clears throat> so stage one, of course, is to do your vision. Stage two is meeting your monthly obligations, right? We're, we're, we're covering all of our bills with our income, with our investments, whatever we're, wherever we're bringing in our, our money from. So uh, once you get to a point where you're covering your stage two needs, it's time to move into stage three. Stage three is uh, starting to invest for passive income. Um, passive income can come in many stages and forms. Uh, many of us use real estate, uh, but that's not the only way. Um, there's a lot of uh, ways that you can bring in passive income. Um, <clears throat> so uh, how you get passive income is not really the key. Uh, it, it's just to start investing so that you are starting to create your passive income. Um, here's where I wanna kind of focus a little bit though, because a lot of times people are working to pay down their debt in stage two, right? Because if we don't have a lot of debt, it's easier to create enough passive income to cover our stage two needs, right? So if if somebody closes a deal, let's say a real estate deal, they do a flip or they, they wholesale a house and they bring in a large chunk of money, twenty, thirty, fifty thousand dollars um, dollars Many times the first instinct is to pay off debt. Um, and while that's not a bad, a bad strategy, um, I want to propose something here that I think a lot of students overlook. And I've had a conversation with many, uh, many life in years uh, over the past couple of years. And when I propose what I'm about to mention here, um, many of them seem to be like, wow, why didn't I think about that, right? Or it kind of just blows their mind. And one of the things that, um, what I like to do is keep the money working for me or for you, right? And one of the ways that we can do that is by creating the passive income or investing it somewhere where we're getting a return on our investment. Um, if we take that 20, 30, 50 grand and pay off a car or credit cards or something, it's gonna definitely impact our monthly, um, our monthly needs. It's gonna reduce that, I would say, five, six hundred dollars, eight hundred dollars, maybe more, depending on <clears throat> how much you're using to pay off. And, and what kind of investment or what kind of debt it is. Um, you know, is it a high interest credit card or things like that? Um, where I'm going with this is, uh, I want you just to kind of step back and think of it this way. You pay off your credit cards and poof, your 30, 50 grand, whatever you have is gone. Your debt is gone also, right? Which is good. Um, now, as you start creating passive income, it's gonna be easier to, to get to stage four because your monthly uh, needs are, are lower. But what if, <clears throat> what if you invested that 50 grand or 20 grand or 30 grand into passive income now, <clears throat> right? You're meeting, already meeting your stage two needs. So it's not like you're upside down every month and you're struggling. Might be tight, but if you invest that money, right? So in my market, I can buy a house for 50 grand and probably get 800 to a thousand dollar rent. So let's just go with that for an example. Um, and, and you'll see where I'm going with this. Uh, you take your eight, uh, 50 grand and you invest it in a piece of property. Uh, let's just say you're getting uh, $900 a month, right? Now you can take that $900 a month after taxes and insurance are, are covered. Let's just say after that, you're looking at 550. Take 550 a month and put it on that debt. More than likely, you're going to be able to take enough from that passive income stream to pay off what you would have saved if you would have put the whole 50 grand on on that in, uh, debt. So if you would have paid off the debt, you might have saved yourself five, 600 bucks a month, right? By having this piece of property in this scenario, <clears throat> the property's paying for that, okay? So you're still saving that 500, 600 a month, 
it's not coming out of pocket. So your results are the same. You're not worried about that debt anymore because the house is paying for it. But what happens is down the road, once that debt is paid off, you still not only have that property, which hopefully appreciated during that time, but now it's kicking you off that $900 a month. And, and that's what's gonna catapult you in the stage four quicker, okay? So you're getting that, you're getting two birds with one stone, right? You've got that 30 or 50 grand and instead of just paying off the debt and being done, you're buying a house and getting your debt paid off, right? So it's 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 using your money to work for you, right? You could pay off the debt and then go work hard and do another deal and then buy a house, right? But now you've invested 100 grand, 50 on the debt and 50 on the house, right? In this scenario, it takes a little longer. It's going to take you, you know, longer to get through the debt, but if you're not paying that payment, if I come to you and said, hey, listen, for the next four years, I'm gonna pay your credit card bill until it's paid off, you're not gonna worry about the bill coming in, right? Because somebody's making that payment. In this case, it's the house. So just wanted to throw that out there. Um, I think that would help a lot of people just in their mindset and how they think about money and, and, and really kind of getting it to truly work for you. A lot of times when someone says, if I ask somebody, hey, what does getting your money to work for you mean to you? Um, they're like, oh, you know, investing it so, it, you know, it, it makes a good interest rate and brings back more money. And that's true, right? But there's ways that you can take that much deeper. And in that scenario, I just ran with you. That's one of them. So I hope you enjoyed the tip. Uh, Merry Christmas. Hey, listen, if you aren't already on the, the Life in Your app, make sure you download it. Uh, it's a great app. And uh, if you like this tip, um, there'll be some uh, opportunity to uh, to chat more about it in the app. So Hopefully we'll see you there and uh, have a Merry Christmas.